Baba Kalyani joins us now, Chairman and Managing uh, Director of Bharat Forge. Mr. Kalyani, good afternoon. Thank you for joining us. When we spoke last, it was along after your Q2 numbers. You were not optimistic, but you were confident of a recovery. Has your confidence translated into reality or you would say that your confidence, your confidence of recovery is getting delayed? Well, I had said uh, last time when we met that uh, uh, the next six months would be difficult. And uh, I think uh, that's what is showing up. Uh, you know, the Indian market has been uh, in a difficult situation. Uh, uh, the demand side is extremely weak right now. And, uh, you know, we are a demand-led uh, business. So uh, as the demand picks up, uh, I think we should see a strong recovery. Uh, we have, uh, we foresee uh, the next quarter also as a weak quarter, as we had uh, said uh, last time. Uh, but I think uh, starting FY21, we should start seeing uh, recovery taking place. Uh, we are already beginning to see uh, uh, the end of the trough and uh, uh, step by step, uh, uh, demand will start going up. Yani, safe to say that the worst is behind in QT, Q2 as well as Q3? Yeah, I think, uh, I think uh, the worst is behind in terms of demand. But the problem is the demand is at a low level and picking up from a low level. So it's not uh, like it's going back to uh, the 2018 uh, uh, numbers uh, that we saw in the CB business, you know. Uh, that was probably a peak year that we have had and uh, and that was a peak year world over uh, in this business so we are seeing uh, a slowdown uh, uh, in demand uh, in india it is slowed down by almost 50 60 percent but i think the worst is behind us we are now beginning to see a small uh, incremental growth in demand so we believe that uh, fi21 should be a better year compared to fi20 uh, uh, you know, just looking at how the domestic as well as export revenues have been, Mr. Kalyani, and there's been a big contraction there, uh, higher than 30%. Have you reached a cyclical trough? Will tonnage volumes recover from FY21 or is end market demand likely to remain weak? Just want to get, you know, more nitty gritties and details within that. No, my, my, own, my own belief is FY21 will be better then FY20, but I don't think it will come back uh, to FY19 levels, uh, which were probably the peak levels in all the markets. The Indian CV market was at 460, 470,000. Now it's currently running at 250,000. So, you know, to get back to 470 will take a little time, but we certainly see uh, definitely an uptick uh, in the market. So FY21 should be a better year. And uh, even internationally, we expect FY21 to be a slightly better year than FY20. FY20 is, uh, I think, the end of the trough. When you say slightly better, what is your definition of slightly better? Double digit or still single digit? <laughs> <laughs> well, I would say uh, 10, 12 percent, 15 percent, something like that. <laughs> It's very difficult to gauge this number because we still haven't seen uh, the impact of the Euro 6 introduction in the market and what it is going to do in the marketplace, what's the cost increases that people are going to face, are there any technical issues that people are going to face, is there any disruption that is happening in the supply chain because of what's happening in China. I mean, these are all uh, questions that we don't know as of now. In view, you know, Last week, we but uh, uh, what from what we are seeing in the marketplace, we expect to see FY21 to be better than FY20. Okay, auto companies are claiming that sales have bottomed out. At wholesale level, their belief is that inventory levels are low, and that is the yes. sense which we are getting from CV companies as well. How come that has not translated Absolutely. into only ordering for you? Yes. Well, that will start translating into demand only after April. Because right now, everybody is cleaning up BS4 inventories and building up 
small volumes of BS6 because nobody knows what is the impact uh, in terms of customer ex acceptance of BS6 vehicles at a higher price. And I think, we, you know, that just has to play out in the next quarter. Unless that plays out and uh, we won't know what's going on. So I think it would allow for some time, but my overall feel is that once the next quarter is done, uh, we should start seeing a normal situation in the market and slowly the demand picking up. And you're right, you know, the inventories uh, uh, are down uh, and I think the OEMs have done a good job in reducing inventories in the last uh, two quarters and that should help uh, after uh, April 1 when uh, the Euro 6 uh, introduction 100% starts. Mr. Kalyani, you know, when you see the, um, see the Tesla share price uh, zoom sky high and when you see uh, uh, you know, the kind of electric vehicles that are being displayed at the Auto Expo, giving us a taste of what's to come. Do some of these um, events give you cause for concern when it comes to your own core business? No, I think, you know, we have been dreading ourselves for the EV uh, uh, business for the last two years. We have invested into EV technology uh, in the component and subsystem level. We have uh, invested in lightweighting technology and all this will happen, you know. Uh, you will see in the next six months, people will want to reduce weights of their vehicle. You know, there'll be a move towards aluminum. This is what we are doing in Europe. We are restructuring our business to increase our production of aluminum components for which we have a, uh, amazingly strong demand. And this business uh, with the technology that we have in Europe uh, produces double digit EBITDA margins uh, and I think we are very confident of that transition happening. Uh, so I'm going to ask you a direct one, uh, Mr. Kalyani, and this is a question which may sound slightly direct, but you'll appreciate my tone. People who are questioning that what will be the relevance of Bharat Forge in today's disruptive world, how would you dismiss the criticism? Why don't you dismiss it for, for once and for all? Well, you know, I mean, the relevance of a engineering company, we are not just a forging company, we are an engineering company, we are a technology company. The relevance of this guy, this business is extremely high. There's nowhere in the world you can make products without somebody like us being present. So, you know, you, ha you have to start looking at it in a different manner. You cannot remove materials and metallurgy from the world irrespective of whether you go into EV or is irrespective of whether you go into AI, it's always going to remain. Now, for a shareholder, and for someone who said, look, you know, I've always marveled Bharat Forges. No, uh, can, okay. So, you know, my last question, Mr. Kalyani, would be, I've been tracking your company for about 20 years now. And, you know, markets have always marveled your company for your engineering capabilities. You started as an auto, uh, you know, component company. Now you become a true blue engineering company. How much of your business in next five years will be completely non-connected to auto? Doesn't matter what happens to CV of or combustion fuel. You would say, I'm an engineering company. I will get business which is non-auto. Okay, uh, okay. Let me uh, let me just give you let me just give you an example. In 2008, we decided to diversify into non-automotive components. Today almost 40-45% of our business is in that segment. Now, we have three or four new segments that we have opened up, defense being one of them, uh, the EV sector being another one of them, aluminum, lightweighting components being a third sector of them. So I think, you know, if you look at five years from now, a very large portion of our business will be non-automotive. The only area of automotive business where I think we will continue to grow and we are creating a, a very good traction is going to be in highly specialized components in the Pascar business. And that components, irrespective of whether Pascars become electric or they remain with IC engine, will be required. And that's largely chassis based components. All right, Mr. Kalani, appreciate your time. And I certainly look forward to much more of, uh, much more of you going forward, at least this year on ET now. Thank you.